Well, here we are. We who? Beth and Lee McCain. <laughs> Happy Fourth of July, everyone. I'm so glad that you guys are listening to us here on uh, this wonderful Fourth of July weekend. Mm-hmm. It uh, is our country's birthday. It sure is. Got a question for you. You know how many years we are? You know how old we are now? How old Take a is guess. America? Take a guess. Want me to tell you? Sure. 233 years. Wow. What do you think of them apples? Boy, it seems like we should be older. Yeah, you know, but when you consider it uh, about countries, mm-hmm. we're a baby. Yeah, I know. I we're know. a baby country. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know that there's one that is actually younger than us? And who is that? Ireland. Seriously? The Republic of Ireland. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You listened in history, didn't you? I think I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I listened in English. <laughs> <laughs> They've only had 14 presidents. Wow. Isn't that something? That is something. So, so how are you doing, my dear? I'm doing wonderfully. I'm just all firecrackered up. Uh-huh. I'm ready for our wonderful uh, dinner of burgers, barbecue mm-hmm. burgers. Barbecue burgers. Yeah. And, and Homemade um, potato salad, your barbecue, mom made. Barbecued corn. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wow. And sparklers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peanut sparklers. That's right. <laughs> she gets sparklers. That's it. Sorry, kid. That's all you get. Oh, no. <laughs> and then we're going to watch the fireworks. We're yeah. staying at home and having a good old time with family. We sure are. And there's nothing better. And we hope that you're doing the same thing. Well, maybe people are out, but you know it's a bit cuckoo out there with all of the... Oh, my gosh, the traffic. Can you even believe yeah, it? Yeah. They're, they're just... Uh, uh, everybody's heading for the coast. I, yeah, over here they are. Anyway. He- heading for the water. Camping and plus coasting. It was, plus it was 97 degrees today. Yes, it was warm. But you know what? We had a nice, cool air conditioning. We yep. were great. We felt <laughs> good. So but that's you, nice. It's funny, though. What happens is you still kind of feel like, uh, even though you're like in air conditioning and everything, mm-hmm. just the way it is. Yeah. I guess yeah, it's, it's funny when you're feeling nice and cool inside. There's still that thought. You look out there and go, ooh, it's warm. <laughs> Glad I'm in here. Yeah. Well, oh, are we so, ready for some questions? Well, we are, but, you know, we should uh, let the folks know what we do in case you just tripped on our show for the very first time. Okay. We talk about the law of attraction. We sure do. The wonderful law of attraction and what it does uh, in your life and how you can have anything you want in your life mm-hmm. if you will just practice positive thought and the tenets of the law of attraction. So what we do is we answer questions. Mm-hmm. And this is just kind of a warm-up show to our actual radio show that broadcasts over WARL Mm -hmm. and is heard worldwide on Universal 7 Radio Network. And if you want to hear the hour-long show, you can sure do that. If you're in the Boston area or Mm -hmm. Providence, Rhode Island, you can hear us on WARL AM 1320. You sure can. uh, Most beautiful positive thought radio station you've ever heard <laughs> and uh, nothing but great positive shows on that on it's that nice. network. Yeah, it uh, sure is. but if you live anywhere else you can hear us too we stream the show live at our website every sunday night at nine eastern six pacific and you can go to bethandleemccain.com click on the radio loa and find the live stream you sure can and you can also download uh, past shows for free mm-hmm. so there you go that's all about the radio shows but anyway that's what we do here <laughs> we do, don't and we? And we're sure glad you tuned in and, and are listening to us. Well, why don't we get to some questions? Okay. Okay. I got one for you. All right. This is from Clara. And she's in Arkansas. Hey, Clara. Hi, Clara. I've been married to the same man for the last 20 years, <clears throat> but he has recently been getting on my nerves. Uh-oh. Well, he did before, but not like now. <laughs> He is so wrapped up in all the worldly issues that are negative and it messes with my positive thoughts. I love him, so how do I change my reality with how he is feeling? Oh, those men, Clara. <laughs> you know? Well, you know, it's funny when you marry someone, you're alignment at that moment. Yeah. And it's funny you have to grow together, don't you? <laughs> well, I would just say congratulations on 22 years. Exactly. That's That's wonderful. nothing to sneeze at. It sure isn't. Well, when we marry Clara, we say we are in it till death do us part. And at the time we're marrying, we're in alignment, as Beth just said. Mm-hmm with one another's vibrations, no matter what they are. But as we get older and grow together, sometimes the vibrations take a little time to catch up and match. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes they don't match at all, and two people grow in different directions, seeking different alignment. The fact that you love your husband and know that this is just a minor alignment <laughs> issue <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can certainly just help. It's a minor adjustment. <laughs> yeah. When uh, someone finds out how much positive thought can change their lives and, and then the spouse doesn't see any of it, there can be a friction. At first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because one life has changed and moved on and the other 
you know, kind of is in... Staying in yeah, the same. Yeah, stays the same. Um, he seems to be the same at the moment, but give it a little time. After all, you've already given him 22 years. <laughs> <laughs> treat him like you want to be treated. If he pops off about the world, just smile and treat him like you'd want him to treat you. And, it's and just move on from there. And wouldn't you want him to listen? So do just that, but at the same time, you can envision an easier flow between both of you, even if you can't figure out how to just see an easier positive flow. By him not changing or anything like that, because when you're encroaching upon his reality, it's not the best way to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, let him come to it. You'll find that things are going to change. It'll become an easier life between both of you. The universe is unlimited. You already know that. Mm -hmm. And... So there, it, the universe is going to figure it out, how to best heal it and align it. And all you need to do really is just envision what you want. Envision your desire to see you guys aligned again. And, and work on your reaction to what it is he is saying. Because when you have that reaction, that reaction is part of and can be part of the problem. Sure. When you go, oh, don't do that. Don't talk about that. Then see, you've already got the resistance going on. Absolutely. So just by allowing and then envisioning well now check out how this worked out okay uh clara was from arkansas we got one right next door uh-huh. in oklahoma oh there this you go this is from toby hi toby and toby writes why is it the things that manifest in my life are the ones i tell no one about but when i tell someone my idea it seems to fail well there is much to be said about being silent when you are visualizing and focusing on something to be manifested through intentional creation When we envision in the now and expect and trust the universe, we get excited and we want to tell everyone around us how great it is. The only problem with telling others is they may give you a look or an opinion that will make you feel as if your manifestation may not happen or give you some advice that makes you feel bad about what you are doing. And then when you're trying to envision, that kind of... Well, it's it creates, in, in it. It yeah, creates, it creates a, a wet blanket. Yeah. It, it's pure, pure, pure wet blanket syndrome. It's true. So those thoughts and perceptions of others, whether or not they are well-meaning, can affect the outcome of what it is you want to manifest. Mm-hmm. So your perceptions might be tinted by the thoughts and opinions of another. When you keep your intentional creation to yourself, it is you and only you that is putting any energy toward it. And if you are excited and trust that it will happen, it will. It's just that when others' opinions and perceptions, they can change how we feel about our manifesting abilities. So sometimes it is just better to keep it to oneself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just to note, if the manifestation is part of a group of people, like in a business, by all means share the thoughts and feelings, since you are all visualizing the same end result. Yeah, you're on the same team. Exactly. If someone has a doubt in a group visualization, the other people in the group can be helpful to the doubter through support and encouragement. Sure. But even as a group, silence is golden until the physical manifestation appears, and then you can shout it from the rooftops at that <laughs> point. Yep. So that silent is silence is golden is something very well thought of. <laughs> it's definitely golden with the law of attraction. It sure is. Well, it just went by. It's Another done. show in the can. Okie doke. So uh, enjoy your fourth. Be safe out there. And um, we'll be back again next week with a brand new show. Until then... Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye. Bye.